Aloha from Hawaii. Um, I thought I'd make a video of the first place I'm staying. Um, today is my last day working. Uh, tomorrow I have off and then Saturday I'm leaving really early in the morning to catch a bus to go to the next farm. Um, so I'm at the Rainbow Plantation. I don't know if you can read it. Um, so I figured I'd just give you a tour of the, uh, it's a bed and breakfast. Um, so there's lots of buildings. I have my own cabin, which is really nice that we'll see. Um, I can't believe I've been here for a month and a half now. Um, time just seems to have flown. Um, it's been really easy. I work like four hours a day. Uh, the owner is really easy to distract and very disorganized. So that's worked to my advantage for sure. Um, let's see, right now we are just walking down the driveway. Um, we can stop, there's actually a palmetto tree behind me. I don't know if you can see the fruit. Pomelos are similar to grapefruit, um, but they're a little, little less bitter. On the property, there's also two avocado trees, which are now out of season. Um, a lemon tree, an orange tree, which um, didn't produce much fruit um, this season, but that's all right. Um, so every morning, I get up around 7.30 and make breakfast. Um, which is fresh fruit, eggs, fresh bread, cheese, oatmeal, um, and then my coworkers and I, after the guests eat breakfast, we sit down for breakfast and kind of eat the remnants of what the guests eat. Um, the uh, coffee he serves isn't from Kona, even though he says it is, and the fruit isn't from his yard, even though he says it is. Um, there's also, oh, there's also some banana trees. Um, they're apple bananas, so they're really small. Um, I think I like them better than regular bananas, though. Um, so, if you look up here, that's the main house. Uh, we're not going to go up there right now because the boss is up there, and I don't feel like talking to him. <laughs> Um, we're still just walking down the driveway, um, let's see, to our right is the boat that some of you might have seen photos of, um, it's cool, it's, um, a boat from, I think he said it was from the, the owner said it was from the 1950s, but I think it's from the 1980s, but it's still really cool, um, it has the best view towards the ocean. We are, the closest way to get down to the ocean from where we are is um, a two mile hike down to a really famous monument, um, the Captain Cook Monument. Um, I'm in Captain Cook, Hawaii right now. And it is quite a hike. Down it's really easy. Down you skip and it's la di da. And then you snorkel down there. It has, the guidebooks say it's the best snorkeling in Hawaii. And, um, so far, I, I agree. I think it's, it's just beautiful. Um, and it's in a Kalakekua Bay, so there's no sharks. Um, and uh, But the hike up is really tough. I've had a few guests who reprimanded me for uh, suggesting it to them because it was quite difficult on the way up. Um, we keep walking. So here we're kind of at a fork. And if you go that way, there's more rooms and it all it all loops back around. And then over here is a lovely pile of gravel that I have been lucky enough to help move. Um, that was probably the only hard thing I had to do here. Everything else is like clean rooms, which he doesn't even check to see if they're thoroughly cleaned. Um, make breakfast. You can like eat and talk and talk and just ask him questions. My boss really likes to talk. Um, Sorry, something popped up. Um, so if you just ask some questions, breakfast can last like an hour. And um, this is cool. This is <laughs> this is it's like a three-story building that was originally um, it housed a mac nut processor. So this whole place used to be um, a mac nut plantation, and. Um, 
So there's tons of mac nut trees around, which means there's tons of wild pigs around because they like to eat mac nuts. They are really loud and they live mostly by my cabin. So um, I want to eat one. <laughs> but um, I have yet to find someone who's willing to teach me how to butcher one. So I have plenty of time though. Um, I'm currently in the kitchen. Do a full 360. So yeah, um, I pretty much eat. We eat breakfast um, with the owner. We eat leftovers that the guests don't eat. And then we kind of um, scavenge what uh, people leave behind. Um, this one family left behind two jars of peanut butter, wine. It was great. We had ourselves a feast that night. Um, I've been really, really lucky to get along with my coworkers. Um, there was, I was working with a guy before and he just left for a farm in Maui. And now I'm working with a girl who's also from Connecticut. Um, but she lived in New York City for nine years. Um, on, the, on the land, uh, the kitchen is probably where I spend most of my time because it is where I have Wi-Fi. So we'll take a walk down to my cabin. Um, oh, we also have coconut trees in the property. Right. They are really hard to get down from the how they're connected. Um, I learned, I had a friend teach me, a uh, Hawaiian friend teach me how to open a coconut on a rock. It is hard, but it is worth it. And there's also um, a ton of aloe growing, which is really cool and I've been trying to use. Um, when I get a little too sunburnt, I have been using plenty of sunscreen, but uh, my nose started to peel. Um, we also started um, a garden project here. We made raised beds, we had to move wheelbarrows full of gravel, which was super duper fun. I actually... I didn't mind it. That's, you know, I came to Hawaii to farm, but uh, my coworkers definitely weren't too happy about it. Um, one thing I've definitely gotten over here is my fear of spiders because there are spiders everywhere. I just swatted down a spider web because when you walk, they'll just go. There's a huge one above me, a spider web, but um, I don't think in the light you'd be able to see it. So, this is. You can see it. That is my lovely fire pit. I've gotten pretty good at making fires. Just, just saying. This is my cabin that I share with another girl. Um, it is like a building and then a trailer. And I originally started in, the, in one room and then that girl left. So the other girl left. So I got to graduate up to the room I wanted. Um, this is my room. Um, it is a little messy because I'm in the process of packing. It would probably be messy anyways. Um, got myself some shelves, a nice bed, a closet. Um, there's no clothes because they're all in the laundry right now. Um, it actually just gets surprisingly cold here at night. I sleep with two comforters. Um, it's it's chilly and uh, we're at about 1500 feet altitude um, but when I go into town and stay with my friend uh, she lives right um, on sea level it's so much warmer um, at night I just sleep you know in a tank top and I'm sweating so I've been doing a lot of reading I've acquired a number of books since I've been here and I'm about to pack up and move to another farm so I'm not quite sure what to do with them probably leave them here for another woofer to enjoy. Um, yeah, on my days off, I've been going into town and visiting my friend, and I've been lucky enough to have met all of her friends, who are awesome. Um, so I'll keep going with the tour. As you can see, it's very sunny out. I'm probably gonna go down to the beach in a little bit. Um, I do hitchhike. It's been fine. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm usually with somebody 
And if not, I usually get picked up by a woman because I'm a girl hitchhiking. Um, it's taught me so much humility and uh, just positivity. No matter what, someone will pick you up. Someone will. It's just, it's, um, I don't know. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting to meet people. Um, the types of people who pick you up are interesting. It is a lot of tourists. Actually, a lot of European tourists will pick you up. Um, Americans, I've been picked up by maybe like one set of Americans who weren't locals. Um, Anyway, so now we're on the side of my cabin, and this is where my hammock is. Well, it's not my hammock, but I probably use it the most. Um, right now it's covered in leaves and twigs because it just rained. Um, and now we're walking around the back of the cabin, and we're going into the bathroom. Um, it says... Please take off shoes. I like that everywhere here you take off your shoes before you go in. Um, it keeps things cleaner. Um, makes rooms easier to clean. <laughs> um, so it's, this is, it's nice to have a full bathroom. Um, and we share it with like, one, one set of guests. But um, And for those of you on Instagram, you saw I have a pet spider who lives in the bathroom. He, uh, he's a big guy. I mean, I'm over my fear of spiders, except um, when I need to pee in there <laughs> on the toilet bowl, which happened again one night, 3 a.m., come to the bathroom, spider on the toilet, <laughs> like, you know, the part where you sit, so I peed outside. It's fine. Um, so overall, I'm really, I'm having so much fun. Um, I'm a miss my friends, miss my family for sure, but I'm nowhere near ready to come back. Uh, the next place I'm going is a much, it's a fa it's an actual farm, um, and it's much larger. Um, it has about 30 people sleeping in tents. <laughs> it's either a really good idea or a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> So, and then I found, I have a backup plan. I found a farm that will pay me, so, yeah. 